Arcade Summer here and I thought I might actually show you how to do... Oh, what the fuck? Where's my fringe? It's gone. See this? That is not a fringe. Oh, it serves me right because I went into the haircuts and they, the person said, Hello! And I said, um, yeah, I would like to get a haircut, please. Can I just get short back and sides, keep the fringe and just make it a bit shorter. It was down to here. Make it a bit shorter and then blend it. Right? And then neaten up the sides and you yeah, blend. And that's all, right? And then she's like, okay, sit down. And then I'm um, sit down and then she tries to strike up some conversation. And then she says, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, how's the weather? Ah, yeah. And I said, the flood was pretty bad, wasn't it? Blah, blah, blah. And I explained the reason we had the 14.2 meter fucking flood. Can you believe that shit? I, I lost half of my shit. I lost most of my shit. Can you believe that? And I explained to her, it's because of the Indian Ocean dipole. Temperature imbalance above the Indian Ocean, which causes extreme rainfall in this east side of Australia, yeah. east coast. And then in, in, a, in combination with uh, La Nina, wet season. So the two things could last for five years each. And so they've come together at, at the same time. And that's why I swam out of the second story uh, window of uh, where I was living with a little boat behind me uh, oh, with um, my hard drives here. Yeah. I'm not fucking joking here. And then uh, place my computer and my phone, I mean my computer and this camera uh, on the highest possible shelf on the second story. And it, the flood reached this close to that camera and my computer, this fucking close, the flood waters. Can we grab in those now? Yeah. I think we can grab them now. My computer and my camera. Not wet. When I came back, it was an absolute mess. I lost heaps of stuff and, I've, and I only just got a bunch of it replaced. I lost my HS8s. I lost 4K screen. I lost um, no just a bunch there. of stuff, you know. And, and, um, and it, was, it was exhilarating. It was head fucking. And then for three months, I had no power and no light. And I was, and I had no easy access to food, refrigeration, etc. That's why I'm really thin. Look, look, like you should see my rib cage. It's like fucking a scene out of, um, you know, Ethiopia or something. So <clears throat> I'm just eating a lot of protein shakes now to get try and get back. And so, excuse me if I'm a bit scattered and shit. My brain's been eat. My body's been eating parts of my brain. Okay. Cool, let's go. And luckily it's a very simple synth wave tune that we're gonna learn here. So this is a dream wavy, synth wavy thing. These are the kind of thing you could expect in the early days of synth wave, back when things were simple, much more simple, much more nostalgic, and much more honest, and much more genuine. We had artists, the, the first wave of, of synth wave artists, such as Multipack, and you could call it second wave, but I call it first wave, I don't include those French people um, like uh, Lifelike, I don't include that. It's not really synthwave. I'm talking about uh, Multipack. I'm talking about Time Cop. I'm talking about early Mitch Murder. This is the how synthwave used to sound before everyone jumped on the bandwagon and started singing on top of it. Let's have a listen to how this sounds now. And this is what we're going to make. Otherwise, go to the patchbay.io and purchase Arcade Summer packs. Get the Crystal Clarity Drums packs. Get the Mega Packs. Get the Serum Wave series. Get some MIDI chords if you want. Go and have a look. Arcade Summer, the patchbay.io. Let's have a listen. So what's that made up of? It's very simple. And I'm gonna show you a lot of the um, composition. I'm not gonna to focus too strongly on 
signal parts and stuff like that today and mixing. So let's have a look. I've, I've got a kick and a snare. It's a very simple arrangement. The snare's every second and the kick is every first and there's a double kick. Have a listen. Very simple. What snares am I using? I'm using the Fiverr Plus. And blow out just to fill in some of the mids of, on the snare part. And just give me that sort of um, nice verb there as well. On the um, convolution verb. And we've also, um, we've done a, a bit of imaging just to widen it a bit there. I've done a gate. See that TB gate, very cool little gator, and a little adjustment to the EQ here on the high, a little bump on the 2K mark there. It was required to make these snares fit the situation, and they both come together on this channel where I've added uh, a Lexicon Rooms Impulse Response large room you can find online somewhere. I don't, that's pretty cool. I, I've just recently found that and use the reflector to do that impulse response. And there's a little transient master below there with a little, a little uh, increase on the attack there and a little tiny little decrease on the sustain. And that's on the master for the snare. And the kick, the kick is Fiverr Kick Pro from Crystal Clarity Drums 2, the patchbay.io. Pretty neat. We got a hat there somewhere. It's just also from Crystal Clarity Drums, it's, it's pure eight. So let's have a listen to that again, hang on. You might think, oh, but the verb is way too big on the snare. No, nah, it's okay, because once you've got all the, the synths in there, you want a big fat verb for this kind of music. You want a really long verb if you can. And it sounds quite fine once everything else is in the picture. Next up, I wanna just say, uh, I, I use the M1 and the new version 3 of um, Korg M1 because version, the old versions were too small for the 4K monitor. Very nice to actually be able to see the bits now. Makes it much more accessible. And what I've got, I just made this mix of um, piano pad for multi-sound 1 and piano pad, uh, breath for multi-sound 2, which sounds like this. It's a sustained, a sustained chord, like so, which is all black notes. It's all black notes and it sounds like this and, it, and, it, and it's a sustained chord and it just goes all the way through the whole lot. That's a little tip for your dream wave and your nostalgic neo 80 synth wave to have the, just the chord that goes all the way through like this. It's, I do recommend it. Have a listen. And actually it's sort of fading a bit. I'm going to just um, change that to make it more sustaining. So we're going to uh, we'll have a look at this. Get that going a bit more like that. So now it has it now it just keeps going. Let's have a listen. Nice. Now, you'd probably also want a bit of reverb on that. So, where are we? We're on channel one and I haven't got any yet. So, I'm just going to add um, Serum FX because I love that. I'm going to put, and here's a little tip about reverb. Let me just uh, put some reverb there. And I'm going to put the low cut a little bit up like that. Just cutting away the verb from the lower frequencies. The high cut, zero cut, no cut. So it has a nice sort of resonating sort of um, on the highs. So increase the decay, increase the size and increase the mix width. As you can see, it's a bit uh, more stereophonic now. Okay, so cool. Uh, I'll, that's, that's one part. And now let's have a look. What else have we got here? We got the bass line. And the bass line you can get from solid bass, that's right. And if you want weak bass and this and that, you'll get other kind of bass and you'll just be a, a cocksucker. You can, a motherfucking cocksucker bitch who no one gives a shit about, or you can get this and you can be a sick cunt 
awesome motherfucker, bitch ass motherfucker. Your ass might be a bit bitchy, but not like you're going to be flashing it out around in the street or something. So just make sure that you don't flash it around. I don't know what I'm talking about. So have, have a look, listen. repeats you see how clean and nice that is and that you got this nice fm from from b to a it's just really quite nice what do we got in the effects section we've got a multi-band compressor going on a bit of eq and a second filter and all sorts of shit that is awesome so but let's have a look at the notes very simple just repeating that's what you have with your typical synth wave uh, you don't have to get too clever with your bass lines um, so let's have a look This one every note like that, that's it. And it's doing different notes like that. Excellent. Let's move on to the pads. The pads are Serum again, Filtro Chimes and Sin Brass One. These don't exist in any of my packs, but you can get Serum Wave and it will have all sorts of stuff like this. What's the synthwave community doing in my fridge? So let's have a look at Filtro Chimes. What does it sound like? It's something. See, it's kind of chimey. It's kind of chimey. It's kind of, it's basically a sawtooth that's making that up. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Um, okay, so, and there's really no effects added except this. Now, so I've routed a few of the different parts over to 25 because another thing that you do in Dreamwave and, and um, early Synthwave is you might have a filter sweep. Now let's talk about the filter sweep. And then you might have that at the beginning of the track. You might have that on the bridge of the track. You might even have it at the end. It doesn't matter. Man, a lot of tracks typically start with a filter sweep um, and a low pass sweep. So let's have a look. Uh, I'll first show you what it looks like in the native EQ and you might might want to actually increase a little bit this so what, what, what that's doing is that um, so when you've swept it out we'll sweep it all the way out you can't hear anything now ready not really you only hear a little tiny bit now watch as I sweep it ready So you, you basically open the filter like that as you start the track. So you, you might even have the bass line going while you do that. Let's have a look. Ready? Let's do that. Ready? Okay, you got me. How do you do? How do you configure something like this? Let's. Let's go default, we got nothing. When, when, when we're with default, we'll make it bigger, a little bit. Um, and you got nothing. I, I turn all, this other, all the other ones off. There you go, off, off, and you just drag it down like so. And so what do we got here? You've got that. Okay, we don't want that. We want it other way. So you drag it all the way across to the other side. And now we've got that. So there, there's your um, filter sweep low pass filter sweep i want to change the this a bit like so it's more it's got a bit more of a resonant peak there and then like i said up a little bit there so it's already got some existing unfiltered 
sound coming through just so it has somewhere to go if you if you if you haven't got that you won't hear anything at the start so let's let's try that again and my mouse isn't so that I can sweep it all the way across in one go with my mouse you would automate this you'd right click automate this sweep um, with automation curve or whatever so let's have a go Okay, got the picture there. Let's do that same thing again with a little bit of raw signal spilling out. Have a look, ready? Actually, if you look up there at the top, around three kilohertz, probably between 2.8 and 3.2 somewhere is like a sweet spot it really does sound very nostalgic in that spot I just I just want to point that out if you left it there it would sound lovely you see what I'm saying all right and now that that's if you're going to use the native EQ you might want to actually use something cooler let's have a talk about that the drop the drop is fucking sick man I fucking love this thing um, so we've got low pass enabled here we got the same thing here we got the sweep it's actually easier to sweep because I can actually now do it without having to move the mouse all over the table so let's do it again with this and let's see the difference Uh, it sounds slow, it sounds much more authentic. That's re the reason is that the drop actually includes um, circuit uh, modeling. It's got different topologies available. Um, and I'll explain to you some of the different ones that I care about anyway. The MS2 is based on the filters and um, uh, stuff in involved uh, with the MS20. Um, the, the JPR represents the Jupiter 8 and maybe Juno 106 and you've got the Prodigy and, and Wasp and Oscar and I can't remember the rest because I don't use them but uh, each one has a different slight, slight different um, character to it and it's it's very cool I find that very cool let's let's actually uh, have a listen to it without the bass now and so what I'm going to do is you for the first thing you do is look down here and you check the input the input decibels and you want to you want this light never to be red otherwise that would be too distorted so we want that just to be sort of peaking in the orange a little bit if possible otherwise we want to see the drive we want to increase the drive so that that's peaking in the orange a little bit if possible to give that character just to push it a little bit um, you don't want to see red there because it will be distortion unless that's the thing you're after let's have a listen and we'll, I'll, I'll increase the LP drive to the point where it will distort to shit and you can hear that unique MS20 style distortion ready hear that But that kind of destroys it a bit too much. So if I had it around there, we want to see this as, as being orange. Here. No. Too much. There we go. That's what I would do, ideally. You might want a bit more character and you get it red a bit. Um, the important thing to note is I've also got the spread I've got spread so left and right are slightly different and that just gives a bit of more interesting stereophonic situation um, so let's have, have another go at it uh, with that all set ready
And yes, we have the resonance, just a little tip there to emphasize. If you don't have that, it's not as obvious sort of uh, what's going on to the ear. So this just sort of emphasizes it. You don't want to do too much like that. But um, yeah, and that's how I have it. I'll talk about the drop in, I might just do a whole rundown of the drop because it's absolutely amazing. It's got envelopes triggered. Um, it's got MIDI side chain. It's got MIDI and side chain. It's got uh, frequency modulation. It's got low frequency oscillator uh, with all sorts of stuff. It's amazing. Basic low frequency oscillator, more sophisticated low frequency oscillator. Um, you can mix all it together. The routing potential is fantastic. The color, the sound, it's, and you can render it in HD or you know you can do really, really high quality. It takes a long time to render, um, it's like that. And, um, and then this will be as close to the filters and as, as you can possibly get in the software world. Fucking fantastic. Let's have a look at some other stuff here. Uh, what have I got else here? Um, let's have a listen to that again I'll do the filter sweep again but with also with this synth brass thing Go and buy my presets at thepatchbay.io. Make sure you do, otherwise you're a fuckwit. Okay, so let's have a look what do we got here. You could even put that with the sweep or not with the sweep, it's up to you. But it does sound really cool when you do that as well. Let's have a listen. Okay, and the, the last thing I want to talk about for this will be the end of the tutorial is Dext, the DX7 emulation, and I love Dext, I just love it. It's so fantastic. Um, and you can import SysX, um, which is the old MIDI standard um, from the DX7 into, into Dext. Dext also acts as a librarian for actual DX7. So if you have a DX7, you can import presets from your computer into your DX7 as well, which is really fucking awesome. But apart from that, I recommend you go and grab the, somewhere online there's just like 7,000 different SysX patches that you can load into it. And that really covers your whole DX7. If I have a look at parameter, I can see in there that you can set it set to modern 24-bit. I leave it at that usually. If you really want to get that the character that's the, typical of an actual DX7, you'd set it to a Mark One. The the first DX7s from I think it was 1983 or somewhere around that time. Then the it will include the roughness of, of the DACs that were, were in there, just to give that more crusty sort of sound. I generally don't. And it's even got this interesting OPL situation as well, which is pretty cool. But I, yeah, I go, I go with modern. If you know how to program these things, these are a bit touchy. These, it's a bit touchy. It's not ideal, but I think generally. And what, 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 what's a cool thing is you can go to through the cart, you put a cartridge in virtually, and you select your thing, you can actually tweak the, the frequencies a bit on, on each of them, or you can actually just go through, I think there's 24 different algorithms. Right now it's got a sort of tubular bells kind of sound going on, and um, some kind of bell, right? But if you go through the algorithms, you get different kind of, different variations of that bell, you know, basically, because it's just reordering the algorithms. But, you know, this is not it. This is not simple. Um, stop, doesn't want to. Um, this, this is a bit beyond it. FM synthesis is a, is a bit of a headache. So I'm not going to go into that today.
Hi, it's Arcade Summer here. I just wanted to let you know about my special idea that has nothing to do with synthesizers, just a little extra tip that you can do uh, if you find it annoying brushing. So there you go. Um, let me see. Let's have a look at which some of the notes before we go. This, this is the hi-hats. I talked in another tutorial about how we added some width by displacing the hi-hat, one, one of them from the other. And you check out that tutorial on the Patch Bay channel. This is that um, Sin Brass right there. It's a pretty simple note progression there, pretty sequence. And let's just listen to that by itself, it's quite nice. Let's fuck with the filter a bit. I've been Arcade Summer and I was showing you how to make nostalgic Dreamwave style synthwave like it used to be made back in the day and uh, go buy my packs. Uh, I have 32 products at the moment. I have product, I have mega packs. I have more, more quality presets than you can poke a stick at. You really will be equipped to be part of the next wave the next generation of synthwave where we care about nostalgia again, where we care about synths, where synths are primary, beats are secondary, singing is for synth pop. Goodbye, Arcade Summer, bye bye. Thepatchbay.io.